you might have heard the rumors. Hmm? Is Tom Brady vegan? Nah, man. And what's the deal with that TB12 diet? What the? Tom Brady's diet is said to be teetering on and off of a ketogenic diet. And when you look closely at it, that would seem sensible based on what I can see from his book. Yeah. Hold up, what? Yeah. Tom Brady is keto now? Carnivore boy? He's teetering on and off of keto? Huh? What does that mean? And if we take a look at his diet, are we going to draw the same conclusion? Hmm? Tom's private chef, Alan Campbell, studied plant-based nutrition and serves Tom and family an 80% plant-based diet focused on vegetables, whole grains, and beans. All right, y'all. In this video, we're going to get it straight on Tom Brady's diet. Is he vegan? <laughs> Is he keto? Nah, man. <laughs> and what's up with the TB12 diet? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and let's get back to the line of scrimmage. First of all, I'm not a Patriots fanboy, they're not my team, but at the same time, I don't hate Tom Brady, so if you're on either one of those extremes, or just somewhere in the middle, then keep watching because you're about to learn something about not only what Tom Brady eats and doesn't eat, but also how social media personalities will try to flip the script on you to get you to buy into some hype. So let's take a look at Tom Brady's diet. Brady sticks to a mostly plant-based diet, but allows for some lean meat and poultry. And I'm not opposed to meat, obviously. We have roast chicken in here, so like, you know, there's a little meat, but it's usually like little meat and vegetables. Sometimes it's, you know, like some type of pasta. It wouldn't be like a, you know, flour pasta or anything like that. But yeah, something that's gonna just keep the inflammation down. Yeah. So y'all can recognize this is a plant-based diet and not a vegan diet, where two of Tom Brady's main goals are reducing inflammation, and fueling his body for optimal performance. Let's see what else we can identify about the composition of this diet. Tom's private chef, Alan Campbell, studied plant-based nutrition and serves Tom and family an 80% plant-based diet focused on vegetables, whole grains, and beans. The remaining 20% is rounded out with small portions of lean meats like grass-fed steak, duck, chicken, and wild-caught salmon. Campbell told Boston.com, My philosophy is that a plant-based diet has the power to reverse and prevent disease. Wouldn't you agree from seeing this, that Brady's diet is focused on vegetables, whole grains, and beans with small portions of animal protein. Yet, we still see seemingly credible health professionals trying to steer people away from grains. Now, the other thing, we weren't designed to eat grains. Okay, number four, grains, that will create inflammation in the gut. But just grains in general are, uh, tend to inf uh, create inflammation. Hmm, that sounds suspect. Funny how one of the NFL's top performing athletes of all time finds that whole grains are an optimal staple fuel for his job and lifestyle. As you'll see in a minute, the TB12 diet is also a gluten-free diet as well. So Tom is selective about his whole grains. In addition, he avoids flour pasta. But in general, whole grains do appear to be a great food choice for maintaining a healthy weight and reducing inflammation. Of course, it's always important to look at the overall total quality of any diet and what it's being compared to. In this study, whole grain products only had to contain a minimum of 50% whole grains and they were still able to reduce the levels of low-grade inflammatory markers. The research team notes the growing body of literature demonstrating the ability of whole grain consumption to reduce low-grade systemic inflammation. However, one recent meta-analysis was inconclusive on the effect of whole grains on inflammation by themselves, but it looks like Tom Brady is on the right track. Stay with me, because this is the kind of stuff you're not going to see anywhere else. If we take a look at what Brady eats throughout the day, this whole keto thing goes right out the window. <laughs> okay, let's start with breakfast. Let's start okay. with breakfast. I eat a smoothie most of the time, like a really calorie-dense, nutrient-dense smoothie. My ideal one is like a blueberry smoothie with some seeds and some nuts, some electrolytes, some protein powder. Um, and almond milk, right? I love almond milk, hemp milk, a little rice milk from time to time. Also on the menu, vegetable maki with brown rice, lentil and buckwheat footballs, and fruit and spirulina roll-ups for the kids. <laughs> okay. So vegetables, beans, whole grains, and starting his day off with a calorie-dense plant-based smoothie. <laughs> and there's people on the internet trying to sing the song that this guy is on keto. 
Tom Brady's diet is said to be teetering on and off of a ketogenic diet. And when you look closely at it, that would seem sensible based on what I can see from his book. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, yeah, lady. He sounds like he's on keto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you get bacon in, into a smoothie? Yeah, you, you probably could. <laughs> You know, if people like that, they put them on donuts and you get bacon a lot of places, but I know. But not in your case. I'm not saying that's not good, because that does taste very good, um, but everything in balance. That's yeah. Cool. Let's be real, folks. Do you know anyone who's doing keto that's turning down bacon? Y'all can tell that Tom Brady is enthusiastic about nutrition and sharing his unique lifestyle with the world. It looks like he's fueling his body with real food to give him sustained energy throughout the day to meet his rigorous athletic training schedule and lifestyle. Now let's compare that with the lifestyle of a popular keto doctor named Ken Berry who is making a lot of shockwaves in social media as he tries to redefine what constitutes a healthy diet and lifestyle in order to promote the keto diet. Uh, what would you have for breakfast? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, nothing. Do you have any lunch? No. Okay. I'm usually one meal a day. Yeah, when, yeah. when do you plan on eating? It's usually somewhere between 5 and 7 p.m. typically. Thanks, Dr. Ken. I'm sure you've got it all figured out. Tom Brady must have got it backwards when he decided to eat nutrient-dense plant foods throughout the day. How about another big clue Tom Brady is not doing keto? He doesn't eat dairy products. Another food group that makes the naughty list in the Brady household? Dairy products. In his book, Brady writes that the milk industry relied on heavy advertising in the last few decades to push its way into American households. And he even helped by appearing in a Got Milk campaign ad from 2002. I'm guessing it's not easy to acknowledge the role of the dairy industry and their advertising campaigns, especially since they paid him to appear in Got Milk ads back in 2002. A turnaround like that takes conviction. What is Tom Brady saying about dairy products these days? Today, he contends that dairy isn't all it's cracked up to be, writing, Our belief at TB12 is that dairy products are high in calories and lower in nutritional value than other foods. In other words, he seems to believe it doesn't do a body good. Well, is there anything in the TB12 diet that would lead you to believe he was doing a keto diet? Chef Campbell does tend to steer away from MSG and olive oil, but he is okay with raw olive oil once in a while. Instead, he usually cooks with coconut oil and chooses Himalayan pink salt over iodized salt every time. They do use coconut oil in the kitchen, which is about the only similarity I can find between the TB12 diet and some of the popular variations on keto out there. Now, have y'all seen those ads on YouTube for the plant-based meal delivery box from Purple Carrot? Back in 2017, Tom Brady teamed up with Purple Carrot to make TB12 meals available for home delivery. From what I can tell, the TB12 meal boxes from Purple Carrot are special because they are, in fact, 100% plant-based and gluten-free. Check this out, y'all. I snapped a couple screenshots from the past two weeks' worth of meals to show you guys what they look like. I'm seeing tempeh Brussels sprout hash, quinoa stuffed acorn squash, lentil green curry with jasmine rice, and a buffalo white bean burger. Those stand out at me. Those look like some good meals. They look like whole foods, plant-based meals where they made an extra effort not to skimp on the protein, and I like that. This looks like a good option for busy, active people who want the convenience of home delivery meal boxes and the health benefits of Tom Brady's diet. I'll put a link in the description for Purple Carrot and the TB12 box subscription. I think it's important to contrast the lifestyle differences between the nutrient-dense plant-based diet Tom Brady advocates and what that affords, and these drab, keto, meat and coffee fasting diets we see promoted so heavily on social media. That anyone would suggest Tom Brady's diet is somehow keto or close to keto when it is centered around vegetables, beans, whole grains, and high protein smoothies, seems like a stretch. What do y'all think? Tom Brady's diet is said to be teetering on and off of a ketogenic diet. And when you look closely at it, that would seem sensible based on what I can see from his book.
If you want to learn more about how social media health influencers have been misleading the public with diet advice over the past couple years, make sure to check out some of my other videos. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to share this with any Tom Brady fans out there and let me know what you think about the TB12 diet in the comments section. What's your perfect meal? What time of day? <laughs> okay, let's start with breakfast. Let's start okay. with breakfast. Uh, what would you have for breakfast? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, nothing. <laughs> okay, let's start with breakfast. Let's start okay. with breakfast. I eat a smoothie most of the time, like a really calorie dense, nutrient dense smoothie. Do you have any lunch? No. Okay. Also on the menu, vegetable maki with brown rice, lentil and buckwheat footballs, and fruit and spirulina roll ups for the kids. I'm usually one meal a day. Yeah, yeah. when do you plan on eating? It's usually somewhere between 5 and 7 p.m., typically. Red Pill Vegan. Next.